The field of art is often a long journey that is marked with months and sometimes years of experience that distinguish what an artist does. Having been in the game for more than two decades now, the following artist is proof that talent, supplemented by literary knowledge and years of experience, build a formidable creative. Take a look at this one. It is the undisputed power of consistency and improvement that gets anyone a step further in any venture they pursue, and art is no different. Decades of practicing art have seen Gemini Vagella morph into the maestro she is today. I've been professionally painting and creating art for over 20 years. I have worked in a diverse range of mediums from um, Painting, mixed media, digital. I also have some fashion items which are digitally printed. My qualifications are interactive multimedia technologies, a degree, and a diploma in photography. So I work in many mediums. I prefer to work on canvas and paint. This is my preference, but uh, I still do the others. My fashion line is a print of my work onto fabric, a digital print, so you can wear it as scarves and all, which is, uh, if you just find me on social media or my website, you can see it there. It's not here at the moment. One of the many crucial parts of any art piece has to be the messages or themes the work is based on. The path she took was addressing social issues like identity. This fine art is something that was self-taught. Apart from doing it in school up to my A-levels, after that it was self-taught. But then there were skills that I gained from university which are mm, more applicable to the changing world. So if you remain in a certain era, you are not targeting everybody. There's a new generation which uh, recognizes themselves more with the digital world. So what are you doing as an artist to spread your message to the new generation? Because I cannot just live in the 80s and 90s saying, I'll remain analog. Because this is the next generation who will take this information forward. So as an artist, what are you doing? If you're not combining or at least trying to reach out to them, you have lost not just one generation, but all the future generations, because this is what is going forward. The artist employs a combination of talent, literary skills, and tricks she has garnered along the way to make her work. This is a series of work. It is called the Decay series. Uh, according to the theme, we're trying to fit in our values and all, where we come from. So this series is a series of nine artworks and it addresses how we are slowly losing our identities, especially as women, because we are so busy trying to be like somebody else, whether it be your neighbor or somebody out there in another country. We are forgetting who we are. We are forgetting that I am unique I do not need wigs, I do not need makeup to know who I am. So slowly, slowly we are fading away. So this is the title of the, this artwork, it's called Fading Away. We are, yes, we are a big group of people, but we are all just starting to look like each other. Our individuality is disappearing slowly. So instead of trying to be like somebody else, you should also know who you are. What are your values? What is your strength? And go with that, because that is what is going to make you stand out and be unique. So the artwork is uh, on canvas. There is a lot of layering with different materials like paper, and then the acrylic paint comes on. There is a bit of charcoal as well for the drawings. And this is how the final piece comes out. Vagela advocates for the masses to be enlightened some more about what art really is in order to understand its value. First is the information on why do you need to visit a gallery and why do you need to buy an artwork. Because it is more than just a wall hanging. 
if you just want a wall hanging, in today's technology, I can go to the printers, I print out something nice from, from Shutterstock, and we have a pretty picture. So why do you need to come in to a gallery and you need to understand what is the value this artwork is bringing to you? So apart from supporting the artist, uh, artwork is always an investment, which people don't think of it as an investment. When uh, an artist grows, the piece you bought also appreciates in value. When you resell it, you will make a profit. Meanwhile, you have enjoyed the artwork in your house or office. This is just one of the reasons why you need to rethink on how art is consumed. So once you get this message out there, maybe there will be more people understanding why they need to do this. In her parting shot, the maestro implores upcoming artists not to give up on art and to normalize investing some more into their art. First thing is uh, welcome as an artist. Don't give up. This is not an easy industry to be in. If you're going to be giving up within the first year, it might just be your loss. You have to be in this for the long term. So be patient. Be persistent, don't give up, continue creating because the more you create, the better you get. It is as simple as this. Another thing is the marketing aspect, you have to put yourself out there. You cannot do one artwork, put it in a gallery and expect it to immediately sell for you to create a second piece. There is a certain amount of investment you have to put in yourself and create a body of work. So when you're approaching people, they can see you are not just, just a hobby artist, you are serious about your career. You can find me on social media, you can find me on Facebook, it's called Gemini Art Page. On Instagram, you can find me at Gemini Vagella. On Twitter, you can find me Gemini.Vagella. You can also find me on my website, which is geminibagella.weebly.com. In as far as art evolution goes, that artist has seen and done it all.